Josh, group three, Shredded Club and Point. So our vision of the library and the lab is to have an open, open library, no walls or few as possible, to have the bookshelves lining the walls, and so it would be easier and free to use. You can meander in the library and not use it as a, a typical, well, I use the words old-fashioned library, more accessible and more modern. Um, we also had the vision to have it more visible from the front entry, and also as we go on, I can show you in the back entry as well. We use the word optionality a lot um, because we want it to be flexible enough for different events uh, that maybe we can utilize open walls and seating in a different capacity for a certain before and after of an mitzvah, preschools, any Hebrew lessons. We want it to be inviting for parents to come in and sit, whether it's during drop off or a little bit longer of a time that you're here. I haven't been in the Temple with preschoolers in a while, but it's, uh, we want it to be much more inviting so that people will stay here, parents would stay here as opposed to leaving and going to Starbucks. And to do that, we thought about the social aspect of it as also. We want it to be appealing, as I said, so we don't leave here and go to Starbucks. So we would talk about, we talked about having coffee there, maybe some snacks. We want the children to be able to read books there while the parents are socializing or hanging out and just doing whatever and instead of sitting in the parking lot. Again, like we said, we want it to be appealing. Um, we want also to have a location. We thought about having a location for the gifts to be incorporated in the library rather than perhaps using a separate gift shop, which takes up a lot of real estate. Um, and I know there was, there's a lot of mixed um, conversation about that, but we felt that a small portion of the library could be used for incorporating the books. Um, also incorporating a conference room. I think there's one there now, and it's used for different things at different times. It's a multi, Media, I think um, Cantor said, sometimes they go in there and assemble packages or do certain things in that room. And also it could be a quiet study area as well. So we don't want to lose that if we don't have to. And I guess finally, we did see the library as a modern space and we want to use multimedia um, to bring it into the 21st century, perhaps plugging in laptops, having Wi-Fi, TV there, um, and just really make it an <coughs> and more social aspect of the temple. <coughs> to accomplish this, we probably, we agree with number two on several other things. And what we came up with, I know it's hard to see, but by flipping the chapel space, so this would, this is the library now in this area, and we thought that if where the chapel was, we would flip it. So chapel down here, modern library, lounge, coffee, TV, hangout, these are the words that we use, and incorporating the gifts as well. We talked briefly about the atrium, and there's a million things um, that could be done in the atrium, but that wasn't necessarily our task, so we did have ideas, but that we developed further. We also saw that by streamlining the lobby, well, not the lobby, the walkway, that you can see directly from the back entry to the front entry, is sort of, not it's not a straight line perhaps, but it's it's not as windy as it was, and we felt that that would be um, more welcoming, and it's a it's a better wayfinding um, for either entrance. You can you know where you're going, you can see where where the path leads you to. So we thought that was a way to be drawn into the space, and then I think finally. We did look also at the yard side space and we felt that it could be an open room and it could be quiet with a bench or seating and it would be a reflective space. Um, and overall, we just felt that this was a little bit more welcoming and it incorporated a lot of the comments from our group on both sides. <laughs>